Hello everybody, welcome back to another Girl Tech Fan Game tutorial. Now in today's Girl Tech Fan Game tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to have finger movement. It basically means you can use the buttons on your left and right controllers to make the character's fingers move. Now this can work for any model as long as you know what you're doing. Just make sure you sit back and pay attention. Before we start, make sure to like and subscribe and let's get straight into the video. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to my Discord link in the description, go down to the finger animations channel and download everything there. Okay, go into the Unity, right click, hit import package, custom package. Go to your downloads folder, find the network finger animations package, double click it, hit all and hit import. It should have imported XR hand L and the XR hand controller. Okay, go to your resources folder, go to Photon VR and open up player. Now go to your monkey prefab and click on the right hand. Open it up and as you can see, it's got three fingers. Make sure your model is rigged. So click on your right hand and add the XR hand controller script. Now on the hand type, change this to right. On the thumb move speed, keep that on one. And on view, click this and just click player. Now go to your left hand, add the XR hand L script. Keep it on left, change this to player. Now go back to our right hand here and let's start doing the animation part. So now for this, what you need to do is you need to go to window, animation, animation. Make sure you're on your right hand when you're creating the animation and hit the create button. Call this right hand animations. Spell it like this. Hit save. And when you're in here, click this little button and hit create new clip. Call this pose one exactly as I spelled. No spaces, nothing. No, no capitals, nothing. And hit enter. Okay, now what you're going to do is click this little red button here. Get the scroll and make it go the whole way down to one minute. Now all I need to do is go to this finger, this one right here, and close it. Okay, this animation's really crappy, you can probably do a lot better, but when I play it, it looks like that. Now that's that done out of the way. Now click on this again, hit create new clip, and go to pose 2. Now do the exact same, click the red button, go to 1 second in, just curl it in. So now this one looks like that. And then that's that done, and then hit create new clip, pose 3, and this is your thumb. Go to your thumb, and just move it down. So it's like that. So now that's all the animating done on the right hand. Now what you're going to do is go and do the same on the left hand, but it's a little bit different, so make sure you focus up. Go to Window, Animation, Animation, click Create. Call this Left Hand Animations. Click under here, hit Create New Clip. Now instead of this doing Pose 1, do Pose 4. And click the red button and go to your first finger. Now that's Pose 4 done. Click this again, hit Create New Clip, do Pose 5. That's done. Go to under here, create new clip, pose six. And now, that's most of the animating part set up. Now it's time to get a little bit harder. So first thing you want to do is go to your search bar and search up pose. Now on all of these, you want to turn off loop time. And then search up right, right hand animations and also turn off loop time on that. Left hand animations and turn off loop time on that. Now click on your right hand, go up to here window go to animation and go to animator now what you want to do is you want to select all of these four things and just delete them okay now once you've deleted everything in here you want to go up here to, to parameters hit plus create free floats call the first one pose one second one pose two third one pose three oh three and go over here in this big blank area right click hit create step create from blend tree double click it now click on your blend tree object over here change 1d to direct Hit plus and hit add motion field. Add three of these. Your first one, keep it as pose one. Second one, keep it as pose two. Third one, keep it as pose three. Now what you want to do is you want to go back to the search bar and search up pose. Drag pose one into pose one. Drag pose two into pose two. Pose three, pose three. You get the gist. Turn up all these little cranks right here. Now what you need to do is go to your left hand. Delete all these four up here. Create three floats. Pose four, pose five, pose six. Right click, create. Create from blind tree, double click it, click on here, 1D, direct, add three of these animation fields, pose four, pose five, pose six, dragon four up here, dragon five, and dragon six. Now once all that's done, now once all that's done, drag up all these bars to max. Okay, that's basically all of it done, but if you want to make it network so other people in your lobby can see your hands move, click on your one of your hands, it doesn't matter what one. Click add component and add a photon animator view. On synchronized layer weights, keep it disabled. And on all of these, put it discrete. And on all these three, put it on discrete. Go to your left hand now. Do the exact same thing. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to click like your entire model. Right click it, hit create empty. And then just add a photon 